Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at some interacting human body systems. As an organism, we're made up of a number of different body systems, each of those having its own organs and its own role within the body. Uh, there's about 13 different body systems that can be defined in the human body. However, we're going to concentrate on four today. The respiratory system, the circulatory system, the digestive system and the urinary system. And I'm also going to first up talk about cellular respiration because this is pretty much the point for these four systems. This is a handy summary of all of the systems that we're going to be looking at today in this video. Uh, I'll go through each one of these individually. But first, cellular respiration. This is the most important process that occurs in humans. As humans, we are heterotrophs, meaning that we have to get our energy from eating things. We don't magic energy from the sun. Uh, and so therefore, we've got to eat things and convert this into energy. The way we do this is through the process called cellular respiration. This occurs in every single cell within your body. And in that cell, the specific organelle where this occurs is in the mitochondria. The respiration reaction is sugar, in particular glucose, plus oxygen reacts to form water and carbon dioxide. And this process rebinds ADP into ATP, providing energy for those cells. Okay, so this is the very, very important process. The reason I bring this up is because all these, or the four uh, systems that we're going to look at today are all related to pretty much either getting these uh, reactants, the sugar and the oxygen, or getting rid of the waste products, in particular the carbon dioxide uh, and the nitrogenous wastes too. Uh, so we'll now look at these different systems. The first system that we're going to look at is the respiration system or the respiratory system. Now, do not get confused between the respiration system, which basically consists of the lungs and a whole heap of tubes, some of them in the lungs, some of them outside of the lungs, and cellular respiration, which is the metabolism that happens inside the cell. These are two different things. The reason they've got a similar name is because the respiration system is the primary way in that we get oxygen into the body and carbon dioxide out of the body. And this is one of the huge reactants and products from respiration. So you can see how those two are related, but they are different things. Uh, so don't get confused by them. So as I said, the primary role is getting oxygen into the body and carbon dioxide out of the body. And it does this in the very, very small pockets inside the lungs called the alveoli. In those alveoli, the cell wall, correction, the wall of the alveoli is one cell thick and the wall of the capillary surrounding that alveoli is also one cell thick, meaning that there are only two cells between the blood in your body and the air in your lungs which is a very small gap. So you can see the respiration system here gets the oxygen in and takes the carbon dioxide out. The circulatory system consists of the heart, the blood, and a bunch of tubes that the blood is carried in. These can uh, include the arteries, veins, and capillaries. Now, the primary role of the circulatory system is getting that oxygen from the air, and I talked about the capillaries that are in contact with the alveoli. So taking the oxygen from that point to the cells around the body that need that oxygen. And the opposite for the waste product, carbon dioxide, take it from the cells that produce that waste product to the alveoli so that that can then get passed on to the respiratory system. Another thing it does is takes the glucose from the intestines that's been broken down by their digestive system to the cells that require that glucose and also moves the nitrogenous waste products which are created within those cells to the kidneys to, so that they can be filtered and taken outside the body. So here we see the circulatory system or the circulation system. Uh, that system links the other three systems up and it's basically, well it is, a transport system uh, to move these things around the body. 
So we said that respiration requires glucose. The way that it gets glucose is through the digestive system. So we eat things, we put them in our mouth and we chew them. That's a form of mechanical digestion. That then goes through our stomach into our intestine, uh, goes through a process of chemical digestion and gets broken down into nutrients that are then absorbed by the capillaries that are surrounding the intestines. So the digestive system consists of the stomach, liver, pancreas, and intestines, as well as a few other things. And when I said that the other things are organs and then a whole heap of tubes, in the case of the digestive system, we are the meat tube. The digestive system is one tube that goes from your mouth to your anus uh, and is basically completely separate to everything else inside your body. So we are basically just meat donuts. Here we've got the digestive system, food and water in. Uh, that breaks down into the nutrients and salts, uh, and, well, and the water too. Uh, Feces is taken out as a waste product. Now, the other waste product that I talked about were the nitrogenous wastes. And the way that we get rid of these from the blood is through the urinary system. The urinary system basically consists of the kidneys and a few more pipes. And what it does is it filters out these nitrogenous wastes from the blood for excretion. The other thing it does is regulates the amount of water and the amount of salts in the blood and excretes those that are not necessary and puts those back into the blood if there isn't enough of them. Uh, so this filters and regulates the blood. So here we've got the urinary system, okay, the water and solutes go to the circulatory system for those processes to happen and the nitrogenous wastes come out of the urinary system which are then excreted outside of the body. In this video we've talked about cellular respiration being the process that occurs in all, ce all cells where glucose or sugar and oxygen react to form water and carbon dioxide. Then we've talked about the respiration system as getting the, that oxygen inside the body and the carbon dioxide out of the body. We've talked about the circulatory system, which links all the other systems together, getting that oxygen from the lungs to the cells that need it and the carbon dioxide from the cells to the lungs for excretion. Uh, we've also talked about how it takes the products of digestion uh, to the cells and takes the nitrogenous wastes to the kidneys. Uh, the digestive system, which uses chemical and mechanical digestion to break down food into the nutrients that can be absorbed into the circulatory system. And the urinary system, which filters and regulates nitrogenous wastes, water, and salt levels within the blood. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.